What's going on? Jared Sandler here with you. Uh, tweeted uh, yesterday, uh, Valentine's Day, about Jose Leclerc. Uh, I think a lot of Rangers fans probably forgot about Jose Leclerc. He uh, barely pitched in 2020, got hurt, and uh, did not pitch uh, last year. And you know, I think you know people, uh, if they tap into their memory, uh, will recall that Jose Leclerc was. You know, one of the more dominant swing and miss relievers in Major League Baseball from, uh, we'll say, 2018, I guess, through 2020, even though he only made uh, two appearances in 2020. 2018 was his breakout year. 2019 was a year with a lot more expectation, and he had a lot of strikeouts. Strikeouts weren't an issue, but uh, the the saves were not coming with as much ease, and then the injury in 2020. But you know, I tweeted this from 2018 through 2020, all pitchers who had at least 100 innings pitched, starters or relievers. Uh, Jose Leclerc ranked eighth in Major League Baseball in terms of his strikeout per nine rate. He struck out more than 13 batters per nine innings, uh, trailing names you know like Hayter and Diaz, Edwin Diaz, Chapman, Matt Barnes, Kirby Yates, Chris Sale, Josh James. James may be the, the most obscure of uh, the group ahead of uh, Jose Leclerc, just because Josh James isn't necessarily what you would consider a, a household name like the others are, even though uh, Josh James at one point was a, a big time prospect. But uh, the Rangers hope to get Jose Leclerc back uh, sometime this year. You know, is, is it going to be opening day? Probably not. Maybe shortly thereafter. Jonathan Hernandez, same thing. I think Jose, you know, it's tough because of the lockout, don't really have any updates. I think Jose might be a little bit ahead of schedule, or excuse me a little bit ahead of Jonathan Hernandez in terms of their respective timelines. I think the, the hope is that Jonathan Hernandez, who also demonstrated that he can be pretty dominant reliever uh, is uh, expected to be back maybe sometime May, June, uh, you know, at the, at the latest July, uh, you know, as the Rangers continue to work towards, uh, you know, a, a much higher level of competition, I think the Rangers will start to invest more in their bullpen or, you know, and by invest, I don't necessarily always mean, you know, money, although financially, I'm sure that's a part of it. But also, uh, you know, I think they will continue to just invest more energy into building the bullpen. It's just not as, as much of a priority when, you know, you go into a year like the Rangers did last year. And it's really just about rebuilding. The bullpen is where you continue to give guys opportunities as you transition into more of a competitive team, it's, you know, where you need guys to be able to get outs and guys you uh, trust and rely on to do so. And, you know, I think the hope is that Jose Leclerc and Jonathan Hernandez will, will both be a part of that equation once they're healthy and they're back. Little Rangers uh, chatter for you today. Uh, bullpen talk, Jose Leclerc, Jonathan Hernandez. Don't forget about those guys. Talk to you guys soon.